At our PHE laboratories, we collect oral fluid samples to test for different diseases such as measles, mumps, rubella, whooping cough, tetanus and hepatitis. Oral fluid samples can also be used to test whether vaccines are effective and can be used instead of blood as they contain the same antibodies. Samples can be taken in any healthcare setting or even at home and older kids could take their own sample under supervision. The best way to collect the samples is by rubbing the swab like a toothbrush for between one and two minutes. Rub along the top and then the bottom gum lines on each side of the mouth. Once the sample has been taken, it needs to be put in the collection tube. Write the name of the patient or attach a patient identification label on the tube ready to be sent to the laboratory. Children, especially young kids, may prefer to take the sample at home and with their parents. If the parent is taking the sample, make sure they understand the instructions which are on the sheet provided or can be found on the back of the package. The swab will then need to be sent on to the laboratory. If the laboratory is not nearby, samples may need to be transferred in cold chain, especially in climates where the weather is very hot and humid. Once the samples arrive in the laboratory, they are usually processed in a safety cabinet. Gloves are worn for protection. The details on the label and the accompanying form are checked and then the form and tube are labelled. Transport medium is added to each tube. The swab is then agitated to extract as much of the oral fluid sample as possible. The swab is taken out of the tube, inverted and centrifuged to extract every last drop. The tubes are centrifuged at around 5 to 600 G for 5 minutes. That's about 2000 RPM. This helps to extract all the remaining liquid into the bottom of the tube. While the swabs are centrifuged, the storage tubes are labelled. After centrifugation, the swabs are taken out and placed back into the safety cabinet. The sponge swab is then discarded and the extracted fluid is transferred into another tube ready for storage or testing. For the UK, if the swabs are not being extracted at the same facility, they should be packaged up and sent to the reference laboratory for testing. At field sites outside of the UK, the swabs should be stored in a cool box or cold storage before being transported. More information about taking oral fluid samples and how they are then processed are available from our website or by contacting PHE.